The President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now Reprise in session. And the chamber would like to give the floor to the co-prosecutor and lead co-lawyers to proceed with the questioning uh, for this witness. You may have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, with the chamber's leave, I would like to show the witness another document. This is E3-2057, and I'm interested specifically in ERN pages 00079142 through 43 in Khmer, 00276586 through 87 in English, and 0084-8201 through 02 in French. This is a document from Tramcock District dated 4th February 1978, and it's related to the widow's unit that the witness has just been discussing. The President, your request is granted. Le President, vous êtes autorisé. And I would ask that the document be broadcast as well. Je demande aussi que le document soit diffusé. Uh, your request is granted. Mr. Sauhin, as I've just mentioned, this is a document dated 4th February 1978 from Tramcock District. And I'd like you to just focus on the portion that has been uh, uh, circled or, or boxed on the copy I gave you. And I'll just uh, read a quote. It says, the enemy situation in the Tramcock subdistrict base is as follows. We have grasped inside the widow concentration unit that they have a plan to gather forces. One, Q Doge, the leader. Two, Dim Phan Ni. Three, Yi Phan. And four, Petch Sok. All four of them are new women whose husbands Anka has smashed, unquote. And the document then continues with a variety of allegations against these women, including plans to assassinate team and unit chairmen and possibly poisoning people. My question doesn't relate to those allegations. My question is simply, do you know any of the four women whose names I've just read? Witness, I don't know any one of the four women you have just read, read their, na their names. Thank you, Mr. Sauhin. Mr. President, with the Chamber's leave, I'll now pass the floor to the National Deputy Prosecutor. President, yes, uh, National Co-Prosecutor, uh, you may proceed. Uh, good morning, Your Honours, Mr. President, uh, parties and the public in and around the courtroom. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Uh, witness, my name is Cho Wan. I have a few questions to put you um, uh, today. Mr. Witness, you testified and you responded to the OCIJ E3-5515 on question and answer 29. You respond to the, question, the following question. What were the name of the district and sector um, office? Your response was that district chief was Dasan, 
who is still alive, but I'm not sure whether he is in some load piling or on Long Wang. And the sector uh, secretary, I don't remember his name. I remember that Tam Mok, who was from Trapang Tom, Tram Ka district, Takai province, and I don't remember anyone else. And you said that uh, Tasan was the district sec secretary. And when was he uh, worked as the uh, district secretary at that time, do you remember? Witness, I don't remember when he was uh, becoming the uh, district, but I heard later that he was a district chief. Question, who were the deputies of uh, Tassan? Respond, I don't know. Réponse, je sais rien. Question, Question, who was the district chief before Tassan, Tassan and do you remember, remember his name? Respond, no, Réponse, I don't know him. Je sais rien. Co prosecutor, thank you, witness, and Mr. President, I La don't have any further Merci, question Monsieur to put Témoin, to this uh, witness. The president. Le president. The floor is now uh, given to the uh, lead co lawyers to put questions to the witness. Um, counsel, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, to begin, I uh, would like to say good morning to Mr. President and uh, your honors. Uh, parties. Uh, good morning, Mr. Witness. My name is Tisrina. I am the uh, civil party lawyer. I have a number of questions to put uh, to you, and I may need a clarification to your testimony um, yesterday and today. My first question for you is that uh, do you know the chief of the uh, Tramcock cooperative? What is his name? Answer, the cooperative Réponse. chief, I know him. Je le connais, le chef de la coopérative. The President, um, Council, could you please uh, continue your line of questioning? Council, in the cooperative, was there any change of the chief of the cooperative? Was he the one who, alway, who was always there from 1975 through 1979? Was there any change or replacement of the chief? Respond, no. Question, I would like to continue my questions. Question. Yesterday, you told the court on the category of people, you said that uh, there were uh, new people. My question for you is uh, as follows. For the new people, did they have any freedom of movement? Do uh, within your Tramcock cooperative or in your commune? Response. During the three years regime, both the base people and the new people had no rise of movement. Council. If Question. the people uh, wanted to move uh, from one district to another si or from one district to another district, district could they uh, travel on their own uh, 
uh, volition or was there any authorization for them to move from one place to another as I indicated earlier? Respond. For anyone, uh, for any uh, permission needed uh, for that kind of trans uh, traveling or uh, moving, I don't know what happened to that. Je n'en sais rien. Question. During that regime, the people Question. in Trump Cooperative, did people uh, contact or visit their family members? Could they uh, maintain their relationship between their parents, a son and a father, and so on? Rester en contact avec leurs parents, leurs conjoints. President, uh, uh, Le président. please uh, respond to the question again because you responded uh, while the microphone was not activated. Le pas respond. Réponse. The relationship uh, from a person or people. Uh, in one cooperative with another people in another cooperative or district, there was none of uh, that kind of um, relationship. Question, you said yesterday that when the people were evacuated Question. from Phnom Penh and they arrived in Tram Kok, uh, those who had their relatives there, they can live with uh, their relative, and those who had no relative um, would build their hearts and stay there. My question uh, is as follows. For those evacuees, who arrived in your area and they had no relatives over there, uh, Les évacués can qui they pas de sur place, uh, return to their uh, home village to see that, to live with their family in a different uh, destination or places? Response. Réponse. After the evacuation of Phnom Penh, People arrived in my area, and those who had no relatives, but uh, uh, during uh, the first step, uh, some people could uh, request uh, to go to return to their home village, but after the uh, unit was, was formed, they could not do that. Question. I would like to move on to the uh, farming. Passons aux travaux agricoles. Were the old people and the new people assigned to do uh, the same work le in the paddy field or different uh, kind of work? Effectuait-il le même travail dans Response. les rizières ou non After cooperative was created, des coopératives ont été doing mises rice farming were communally, uh, people là, uh, would là, work together, the base people would do the plowing, and commun. the uh, women unit would do the transplanting les for the farming. Le peuple de base allait à la Council, rizière, thank you. Et les femmes s'occupaient du repiquage. While they were plowing and transplanting uh, rice paddy, was there anyone who supervised or watched them while they are working, for example, the military chairman or the uh, commune chief who watched them? Respond, no. There were only the unit chief and the group chief who supervised and watched the people while they are working. Question. Do you know the reason why um, only the unit chief and the group chief who would uh, supervise and watch the people at the work site? The group les gens en Respond. In principle Réponse. of that regime, um, the supervision of those uh, workers were done only by the unit chief and the group Par chief. Principe, seul le chef de groupe et Superviser les gens au travail.
question. Question. Could you uh, state again for the court why was it necessary that they need to supervise and watch people Pourquoi at their website? Des supervisors? Respond. Sur le lieu de travail. The strategy of Réponse. that regime, it was their common practice C'était every day, every week and month. Quotidienne. So uh, the unit chief and the group chief uh, would always supervise and watch their uh, member to, uh, to do hard work. Question. Les membres en train de travailler dur. Have you ever heard or known uh, during... Um, the farming, people fall sick or become very weak, they could not do the job. What happened to uh, uh, this kind of uh, people? Et si oui, qu'est-il arrivé à ces gens? Respond, I was uh, bel- belonging to the plowing unit. I did not witness, witness anything, uh, any incident like that. Council. Do you mean Question. that you uh, ne- never witnessed anything, or you witnessed, but you uh, don't want to know anything further? President, uh, witness, please wait. N'est-ce pas? Le Response. Attendre. I heard people um, disappear from uh, the, com- uh, the unit or the group. De l'unité ou du groupe euh, disparaissaient. Question. Question. Do you know the reason why they disappeared from the unit or from the group? Savez-vous pourquoi? Response. When I returned Réponse. and met with other members, I asked uh, what happened to everyone, and someone said that they were very weak, they, they had diarrhea. Question. J'ai demandé aux gens ce qui was aux it autres, a on complete disappearance or uh, was there anyone just disappear from your group a while and then uh, he or she returned to your group and continue to work? Ce Could you please um, shed light uh, for the court? Réintégrait-il le groupe et recommençait-il à travailler? Response. Um, um, people who had diarrhea or fever and uh, they would uh, absent a day or two and then they return to work as usual. Council, thank you. Now I would like to move on to uh, the topics on food rations. You told uh, the court already about the uh, ration, but um, I would like to know the food ration for the uh, teachers or the militiamen or uh, the cadre in a cooperative where you were uh, working. Was there any different in uh, their ration uh, than other uh, villagers? Response. Response. Food ration for um, militiamen, for teachers. I had no idea uh, as regards uh, their food ration. I know Je only uh, the footration for people in my group and in Je my unit. Ration était aux gens Council, de thank you. What did you have for food? Question. Was it a cooked rice or uh, any kind of food when you ate uh, communal, communally with uh, your members? Lors des repas pris en commun, Response. In my cooperative, we would I uh, received cooked rice, steamed rice, but uh, uh, in a small amount of rice, vapeur, and we would eat uh, around a table of 10 people at a time. A Question, you said that you receive rice for food every day. Was it Question. sufficient for you? Les rations de riz quotidiennes suffisaient-elles? And all uh, members in your group, uh, I mean uh, the 10 people in your group, À savoir ces dix personnes. Respond. No, it was Réponse. not uh, enough. No. Cela ne suffisait pas. And I would like to know uh, the harvest did rise. Question. Uh, when you uh, work 
during the regime. What happened to the uh, harvest rice? Um, were the rice distributed or stored for consumption for the people in the commune or in the unit? Respond. After the harvesting, um, uh, those paddy were stored Après in a long uh, building. Uh, it was not distributed to uh, the people. Il pas Question. As per your observation, um, can you Question. tell the court the quantity of the harvest um, each vous, year or um, when you uh, collected those kind of crops? Response after the harvesting Réponse. season, I saw uh, paddies were stored in the 20 uh, by 20 meter by 10 meter Fury, building. There were a large quantity of um, rice paddies stored. Question um, Do you have any idea? Uh, the rice were uh, taken to any place anywhere else? Si le riz était Respond, no, I don't know. Réponse, je sais rien. Council, thank you. Now I would like to move on uh, to another topic, Question. especially on the meeting that you were attending je passe au réunion auquel vous avez assisté and the uh, commune meeting were all people in the commune invited or called to the meeting or was it a meeting for uh, each uh, group of people who were at uh, that work site aux différents groupes de gens présents sur le site very often we would have a meeting at each unit and group. Council, was the meeting held every day or every month? Les réunions étaient-elles quotidiennes ou mensuelles? Response, when we moved our work site from place to another, uh, there was a meeting uh, to inform everyone for that movement that uh, we would be moved to another place, to another work site. Question. Was it a daily meeting or a monthly meeting? Please uh, indicate more specific. Respond. Uh, it was not every day. La um, lieu when there was the uh, plan uh, de decided by Anka, and then there was a meeting uh, for that. Si avait fixé Question. Un plan, une you said that unless there is a plan from the Anka for people to do, and then uh, a, a meeting was convened. Vous Is this correct? Donc, Respond. Yes, correct. Council, thank you. Oui. Uh, the microphone of the council was not activated. President, uh, please activate your Le microphone. Council, I would like to uh, ask you further about the uh, meeting attendees. Who were the attendees to those meetings? Qui participait à ces réunions? Answer. For uh, major meetings, it will be the unit chiefs who chair it, but for uh, smaller uh, meetings, it was the uh, group chiefs. The group chiefs receive uh, the work plan from the unit chief. Question, did you attend uh, uh, another kind of a mass meeting or major meeting at a commune level, for instance? Une grande assemblée, par exemple, au niveau de la commune. Y auriez-vous participé? Answer. Réponse. I uh, seldom attended such a major uh, meeting. 
Possible. However, regularly I attended the unit meeting held contre, at the village level. Réunion d'unité qui se tenait au niveau du village. Question: During the time that you lived in uh, Tramcourt district, pendant que vous habitiez dans le did district you ever see any uh, leaders? Go to visit your place or to uh, visit the people there? Serait venu en visite Answer: No, I étiez. did not. Réponse: No. Question: Do you have stated before this court Question. about the food regime? Vous avez and that people did not dare to complain about the insufficient food. Les gens n'osaient pas se plaindre de la quantité insuffisante de nourriture. Because uh, they were afraid that they would uh, disappear if they uh, spoke about it and uh, overheard. Regarding the disappearance, were you the only person who knew about the possible disappearance or other people who worked in your unit also uh, knew about the disappearance? Answer. On the issue of uh, disappearance, we knew that people disappeared from a group or from a unit, and that made us very, very afraid, and on we did not even dare to say anything about it. Cela nous et donc on pas en Question. Question. When someone disappeared, the person who knew about the disappeared, for example, the person who worked uh, in your team or worked across to you uh, knew about it, or whether all the people in the village knew about such a disappearance? Answer, I could not respond to that, as I did not know. Question uh, on uh, the issue of fear, as Question. you stated that you were afraid regarding regardless of the issues peur. that you hate, for example, the insufficient food. What about other people? Were other people also uh, afraid or were they fearful? As in the case of uh, your fear that you mentioned. Answer so for each Réponse. disappearance of a person uh, within the group. Personally, I was very, very fearful and I did not uh, dare say anything about it. And as qui for other people, uh, I believe they were, uh, uh, they had the same feeling. Civil Party lawyer, uh, could Question. you please uh, repeat your last part as uh, when you were speaking, the microphone was off. Witness. When there was a disappearance of someone within the group, I became even uh, more fearful and did not dare say anything about it because I was afraid that one day it would be my turn. Question. What about others, uh, the people who work uh, close Question. to you, Did they, were they afraid of disappearance too? Answer, as for those who work in the, the group, they were wondering and we were talking quietly among ourselves about uh, why that person disappeared. Question, when you were talking about the disappearance, Question. What, how did you, how did you, what did you think of how, how they felt about the disappearance? Answer. I believed they also felt the same. It means they were also fearful. Question.
My next line is in relation to the security office. Did you know if there was any security office or center in your cooperative? Dans votre cooperative, il existait un tel bureau de sécurité ou centre de sécurité. And so, no, I was not aware of any security office in my area as it was a very secret uh, issue. Question. Did you know about the existence of a Cantagian security office? And so, I knew about it only at a later stage, and after 1979, I mean, and I also went to visit that location. Question. During the period of regime, of the regime that you lived in the Trump Cooperative, did you see any uh, mass graves or pits? Où vous habitiez la coopérative de Tramcoca, uh, no, vous avez vu des fosses communes où ou des charniers. Réponse non. Question. Now my uh, question is uh, in question. relation to the uh, houses of the villagers. In your cooperative, uh, were people given houses to live in, and that those houses uh, later became the, the properties of those people, or only the houses were given to them as a temporary accommodation? Answer, it was only for temporary accommodation. It was uh, not meant for private ownership. Thank you, Mr. Witness and Mr. President. I don't have any further question for this witness, and I'd like to pass the floor to my colleague, uh, Mr. Mary. I'm ready to put further questions to this witness, President. Thank you. And yes, the international lead co lawyer for civil parties, you have the floor. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, President. Bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. J'ai de très courtes questions. Witness, I have some very brief questions Je voulais savoir s'il y avait des miliciens I would like to know if there were any dans votre coopérative. In your cooperative. There was a group of militiamen in at the commune. Il y avait un groupe de miliciens à la commune. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer quel était leur rôle Tell us what their role was. The role of the uh, militiamen, as I uh, experienced, was to uh, monitor the activity of a people at their houses. Donc, si je comprends bien, l'activité des miliciens était limitée à la surveillance des maisons et non pas du travail au champ. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris in houses and not to monitor activities in the fields. Bah. Is that correct? Mais. Yes. Oui. Savez-vous ce qu'ils surveillaient quand vous dites qu'ils surveillaient les maisons Que surveillaient-ils exactement houses, what exactly were they, uh, surveying? While they were watching the, the houses. Réponse. They were uh, waiting to see whether any, anyone maisons, would steal any food or anything. Ils de voir si voler ou chose. Merci. Vous parliez d'un groupe you. de miliciens. You about a group of Combien étaient-ils et quel âge avaient-ils How many comprised the groups and what ages were they I did not know how many militiamen were in the group. Yes, I was afraid to ask such a question, and I also did not know about their age range. Pouvez-vous 
Pouvez-vous nous indiquer si vous voyez régulièrement des miliciens ou est-ce que c'était quelque chose d'exceptionnel Je passais le plus clair de mon temps à l'extérieur du village sur les sites de travail. Je vous en remercie. Est-ce que ces miliciens étaient armés Were the militiamen armed Uh, when I saw them, yes, they did uh, carry uh, weapons. Quelle arme? What kind of weapons? I did not uh, know the, the, the kind of weapons that they carried. Mais pour être un, un petit peu plus précise, vous parlez d'une du, arme à feu. Are you talking about a firearm? Je n'ai pas reçu la traduction, en fait, I'm sorry, Monsieur le Président, donc j'attends. Je ne sais pas si en, en anglais ça passe, mais en français ça ne passe response. pas. Ouais. Est-ce que je, je répète ma question Shall I repeat my question Veuillez, s'il vous plaît, répéter votre réponse à la dernière But question. And uh, please uh, wait for the microphone to be activated allumé. first before you respond. Avant de répondre. Witness. I oc uh, occasionally, when I saw the militiamen, they carried their weapons in their arms. Dans leurs mains. Et ma dernière question, dont nous n'avons pas compris la, la réponse, en tout cas dont la, la traduction ne nous est pas parvenue, je vais vous demander quel type d'armes. Est-ce qu'il s'agissait d'armes à feu, pour être très précise Je voudrais savoir quel type d'armes they bore. Was it a firearm? Not your complug. Yes, uh, they were rifles. But I didn't uh, recognize the kinds of the model of the, those rifles. Je vous remercie. J'ai juste une Thank dernière you. question. Saviez-vous à l'époque comment time, ces miliciens, ces chop, étaient-ils recrutés Do you, Did you know how these shlop, how these militiamen were recruited no, I didn't know how they were recruited. Non, je ne sais pas comment ils étaient recrutés. Je vous remercie. J'ai une, oh, une dernière question. And, uh, perhaps, nous avons entendu hier un, un témoignage d'un uh, témoin qui nous disait que les miliciens étaient chargés de surveiller les couples nouvellement mariés pour voir s'ils consommaient leur mariage. Est-ce que vous avez déjà été vous-même témoin de ce genre de pratique I did not uh, see uh, such an event. Je n'ai pas assisté à ce type d'événement. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Je n'ai plus Witness. de questions. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no further questions. Bah, Akun, I... President, Tonic. thank you. Le président, je Now the Chamber would like to hand the floor to the defense teams uh, first. It is given to Nunchi's defense team. La parole est à la défense de Nunchi. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Mr. Witness. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur I have not uh, very many questions, just Je a few. Beaucoup de questions, seulement quelques One question minutes. that I have is about what you Une just said um, 20 minutes ago. Did I understand correctly that you only heard about Krang Tachan after 1979. 
Earlier, you were also asked Question. about your brother uh, being taken away by militia men. Would it be correct if I say that um, you only knew after 1979 where he had been taken, or were you able to tell before 1979 what had happened to him? Um, I Before 1979, Réponse. nothing happened. Avant 1979, il ne rien passé. He was a, a he he worked for the former Lonal uh, government. Il ne pour gouvernement uh, de I rather like you to put the question to me again. Pourriez-vous me reposer votre question, s'il vous plaît? President, please lower the microphone. Le président, veuillez baisser votre uh, look, uh, but, uh, President, uh, Council Coupe, uh, please uh, refresh Coupe. your question as the witness question. seems not to uh, get uh, it fully. Car, Thank you. Le témoin, I will try to phrase it in a different way. Um, Mr. Witness, you said uh, earlier this morning that you had only heard about Krang Tachan, the security center Krang Tachan, uh, after 1979. Um, having said that, I would like now to ask you about your brother. When did you learn exactly where your brother was taken to? Où votre frère, frère avait été envoyé À quel moment l'avez-vous su After the arrest Réponse, of my après brother, après l'arrestation de mon frère, I learned from our family members. J'ai appris de la bouche des membres de ma famille. What is it exactly, um, Mr. Witness, that you learned about where they Maître took your Copin, brother? Et qu'avez-vous appris exactement? Comment avez-vous su dans quel lieu ou à quel lieu votre frère avait été emmené? Ma I did not know. Réponse, je ne savais pas. So, so your answer is now that you, you did not know Donc maintenant, vous dites que between vous ne savez 1975 and 1979 where they took your brother. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Réponse, c'est exact. And who, who told you or how do you know Maître that Coupe. your brother was possibly taken to Krang Tachan? You said that maybe you heard that after 1979, if I'm not mistaken. Do you know how you got that 79? knowledge or you don't know also? Comment avez-vous appris cela? Vous ne le savez-vous pas? During that regime, regime, I learned from someone who tended the cows near the vicinity, and at that time I was tending the cows too. So uh, he told me that I should not go near uh, Krang Tachan area, and, and that happened during the regime, and after 1979, we all went to see uh, uh, Krang Tachan. I mean, those people who lost uh, their family tous, members. And later on, we held a ritual for the lost suite, souls at the Krang Tachan. Um, did you maybe see 
and the name of your brother on, on documents that were found after 1979 or, or you didn't? But at current day. No, I uh, did not. I did not see non. his name. Je pas vu son nom. So, to conclude, would it then be fair Mais to say that you don't know for sure that your brother ended up in Grand Tachan? Si yes. Um, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, another question, uh, that's a question about the word disappearance. That is a word that you have often used this morning. Um, what exactly do you mean with the word disappearance? The, I used the word disappearance uh, because when someone disappeared and never returned, then I, I use it for such event. I understand that answer, uh, Mr. Witness, but would it be possible Maître that if somebody réponse, went away si from the cooperative, didn't que come que back, that maybe he was transferred to another zone or another cooperative, but that you didn't know? soit tout simplement ou aurait tout simplement été transféré à une autre coopérative sans que vous en ayez connaissance. I would not know about that. Réponse. The only thing I knew is uh, when somebody tout disappeared sais, from a, a group or from a unit. Tout ce dont j'ai connaissance, ce sont les moments où quelqu'un So just to be sure, your word disappearance simply means that somebody went away and didn't come back, correct? Yes. yes, that is correct. Thank you, Mr. Wickens. Um, now, you, spoke, you, know, you have spoken earlier about um, your unit chief, your group chief, and sometimes about other leading cadres. Now, when I understand your answers correctly, it seems that uh, particularly your unit chief uh, was not a very nice man. Um, would that be correct if I say that? Yes, réponse. that is correct. C'est exact. Um, I would like to um, put some words to you um, and ask you if any of these words would describe his attitude toward you and other members of um, your unit, uh, characteristics as you will, as to describe the behavior of this unit chief. So I'm, I'm going to give you six or seven words, and I would like to ask you if any of these words apply to his behavior and his attitude to you. Do you understand my question to follow? No, I don't. I will rephrase. Mr. President, I would like to use a document which I did not put on the interface, um, but it is a document well known uh, with all parties. It is um, a page from a revolutionary flag from July 1978. It is ER slash uh, 746, and uh, the English ERN is 0428. 305. Uh, the Khmer ERN is 0064504. And the French ERN 0061186. Now, the English page of this revolutionary flag is 17. Um, and specifically, I would like to go to the paragraph just um, before paragraph 5. And um, there are some attitudes and, and words being uh, described, and I would like to uh, use these words. 
and uh, ask the witness if he recognizes the behavior of his unit chief in any of those words. Si le témo au témoin s'il reconnaît dans ces mots l'attitude et le comportement de son supérieur. International Lead Call Lawyer for le Civil Parties, uh, you may civil, proceed. Vous avez la parole. Merci. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Pour le principe, je m'oppose à l'utilisation de ce document. Nous avons essayé de faire en sorte que les parties suivent la même procédure et placent les documents qu'ils souhaitent utiliser sur l'interface. Nous avons déjà fait une exception hier ou avant-hier, je ne sais plus. Si nous continuons de faire des exceptions quotidiennes, le principe n'aura plus aucun sens. Donc pour le principe, je m'oppose à la production de ce document et je m'en remets à l'appréciation de cette Chambre. The assessment of this chamber to make the wise decision. Uh, Mr. President, sometimes when you listen to a witness, um, when he talks about certain things, you, th you think of a possible line of questioning. And it just came up um, during the questioning of this witness. I have no intention to surprise anybody. I'd be happy to stop now and go uh, continue after the break. Uh, but besides this, it's a, it's a highly debated document, everybody knows about it, um, it's not something that um, is unknown to parties. I know it's a difficult question, I know um, um, that there might be problems with the question itself, I understand that, but um, what I'm trying to achieve is to see or to be able to determine whether the behavior of the unit chief or the group chief um, was um, bad individual behavior or possibly uh, within the lines si of uh, the party. So what is interesting of this document that um, there are some styles and, uh, and attitudes of carrying Ici, out work um, and maybe the witness recognizes himself or recognizes the, the, the unit chief or the, the group chief in any of those words. I don't think uh, there, there should be a problem with the line of question. President, the deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, at the very least, I think it will be difficult to determine whether we would have an objection to the document or the line of questioning without having at least a few minutes to look at it. That's, of course, the purpose of providing notice of documents. Uh, if Mr. Coppa is happy to move on to another line of questioning, uh, repeat the document number, which I didn't catch, and come back to this after the break, then we would be able to uh, indicate whether we have an objection or not. President, uh, Council Coupe, please Coupe repeat the document number as the parties do not uh, get it. And please uh, do it slowly or do it uh, twice as uh, we previously instructed our parties to do so. And if you have a question in relation to this document, uh, uh, Rather, if you have other questions, please uh, proceed with other questions first and leave this uh, question aside and let other parties review this uh, particular document first. And then when we return from our lunch break, then we can discuss uh, this document and the uh, question you intend to ask. Uh, yes, Mr. President, again, it, was, it is a revolutionary flag from July 1978. It is E3 slash 746, English ERN 00428305, French ERN 00611886, and Khmer ERN 00064504. And the words I was intending to use and the reason I'm using this document because I would like to have the exact my word is um, uh, the word. President. President, do you have other uh, questions to uh, put to the witness and leave aside the question 
let it through this uh, document because we let other parties to review the document during the lunch break and we will discuss it when we return from our break. We also have the uh, international lead co-lawyer for civil parties who opposed your question in relation to this document. And you may ask other questions after we gather the, the comment or observation from the uh, prosecution, and then the chamber will rule on this uh, document and the question yet that you intend to put to this witness. I will uh, thank you, Mr. President. One very small. Bien. President, Le just friends, uh, you have the floor. Just one la question to the previous issue, to the issue of the document. Une if, if I understood that correctly, si the questions will go to the personality of a person. So why don't you ask an open question as to how he would describe Pourquoi the person? Why, why do we need to feed him from a document? Well, it has a legal background, uh, my question, because if there is a difference in how um, let's say the top of the CPK thought that certain positions should be taken and how it was implemented or executed on, on the lower level. And there's, the, uh, there's a discrepancy between that. That is uh, an interesting possible legal argument. Que les chefs the other reason is qualité, that the words uh, that are used sur le terrain. here are donc une very typical for those days. Par ailleurs, and, uh, les mots I was hoping citer by using this document that we have the exact right words document, uh, being presented to uh, the witness so that we can get as close as possible to a possible description of uh, Ainsi, the attitude of the unit chief and the group chief who apparently were um, well, not very nice people. But that's why I wanted to stay as, as close to um, the description of the attitude of the group chief and the unit chief by using pour the words described uh, les mots of um, figurant to, to, to the words used to describe the behavior of lower-ranking cadres. Le In other words, to, to finish my Autrement argument, dit. apparently higher level cadre apparently the cadres or the top of the CPK didn't want lower cadres to, be, to behave a certain way. Que les and they have explicit, se uh, explicitly façon. formulated how lower cadres Et shouldn't behave. Des and I would like to be able to, to determine whether these characteristics of attitudes of lower cadres toward the people um, may bring back memories with this, with, with this witness. So that's, the, that's a legal and a factional a, a fact a rationale behind the question. Donc, uh, ma question s'explique par des considérations à la fois juridiques et factuelles. President, President, the international lead co lawyer for the civil parties, uh, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président, de me, de me redonner la parole. Juste une courte observation pour que vous puissiez, le cas échéant, la prendre en compte dans le cadre de votre délibéré. Je comprends le besoin de toutes les parties of all parties to, faire appel à des documents to call qui upon pas documents été that have not been placed on the interface la veille, the day before. Chose qui me pose this is not something soi, that for me is really an issue, especially since we will have the possibility déjeuner. of going over the document during the lunch break. But the chamber has si to be clear, because if the chamber makes an exception for our colleagues, la même latitude parties, this should also be given la suite du to uh, the other parties for the rest of the trial, and it should be clear for everyone that we will also have the possibility enjoy Quand the possibility when we believe that it's necessary to use a document that has not been placed on the interface the day before, the before. Eh bien, il faut que well, la chambre the chamber nous donne has to also give us the same opportunities and this for all parties. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, President, Le the President. time is appropriate for a lunch break. We will take a break now and uh, return at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the witness during the break and la pause have him return to the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon.
Security guard, during the to take care of some porn. Agent de sécurité, through the uh, veuillez waiting room downstairs and have him returned to the court room this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now adjourned. Suspension of the dance.